Despite what happened this preseason, we aren't that worried about the Las Vegas Raiders defense. At least I'm not. Defensive coordinator Patrick Graham wasn't dialing anything up for the Los Angeles Chargers to study. Either way, they have Graham coordinating and some game changers on that defense. This season's going to come down to Gardner Minshew, who isn't the most consistent of quarterbacks, but does throw a good deep ball. He's usually around the top of the league in deep ball adjusted accuracy percentage. And let me tell you, he has a bunch of game changers around him. Guys that in one play can flip the field for field position, score quickly, and of course get the team fired up and create momentum. Minshew's never had anything like this before. I remember when Speaster Trey Tucker first showed up last preseason. Just the ease in which he ran by people. I remember thinking, man, I can't wait to see him this season. The Raiders can really use that speed. But when the season started, they didn't use him much. And when they did, they didn't have a quarterback that could get it to him. A good throw right there is a touchdown. My bad on this one. He's lined up inside in the yellow circle. Once in a while, the quarterback got lucky and did get it to him, though. Then in comes head coach Antonio Pierce and quarterback Aiden O'Connell, and we got a little bit of action. Tucker would then have LASIK surgery and really work on his game this offseason. And this preseason, he's looked good. Got a chunk play right there. And here comes a bigger chunk play. It's just funny how easily he runs by guys. He's gonna run away from this man on the post here. If Minshew could throw this a little earlier, this is a touchdown. Oh, he can change the game in the return game too. skills means he can take a distance after the catch too. He almost takes this one the distance. He's rolling right there. But he can't quite get past the last couple of guys. As I said in my last video, I was excited to see that until I saw this. Watch the acceleration once he sees the hole. And the punter has no chance. Yeah, maybe the Raiders should just let Trey Tucker focus on receiver and let this guy, Tyreek McAllister, return kicks and punts. It looks like he's handling the new kick return rules pretty well too. And here he comes on another punt return. Gets past the first couple of waves and almost breaks it. He has a little something to offer as a slot receiver too. Oh! And adjusts to the ball. Then takes it to the house. I'm saying he's going to make the team. He better. He's a game changer. And of course the Raiders have superstar receiver Devontae Adams who could do it all. He can run after the catch. And he could beat the best of corners like Jalen Ramsey D. That wasn't luck either. He did it twice in that game in 2022. It all starts with his release. And he's the king of deception like on this stutter. And 
and watch what he does to Patrick Sertan Jr. here. Oh, went the wrong way. Yeah, he'll slip out the back door on you. That was from 2022, and he does it again here in 2023. Oh, out the back door. And he murders people on post routes. That started with the release. And while he's not Tyreek Hill, you can't have him back once he's gone. He's gonna trick the corner, then shake the safety here. Oh, put your cleats back on. What did I tell you about playing barefoot in that slippery grass? And this is a double team when Tim Adams just runs by. He was among the league's leaders in explosive plays in 2022. Now here we are in 2023 when Jimmy Garoppolo can get it to him when he has Lucky Rabbit's foot around his neck. And here O'Connell's going to get it to him on the post. Then there's tight end Brock Bowers, the first round pick from a few months ago. He's not easy to tackle so he can get you chunk plays after the catch. Offensive coordinator Luke Getzi has plays just like this in his playbook form. Again, he is not easy to tackle. Oh. Nope. Oh. That boy can get to rumbling, can he? Oh, and he has the speed to take the distance from anywhere after the catch. Bowers ran a 4 5 40 at the combine while he wasn't 100%, but I think you could tell by this play he's a little faster than that. Oh, oh, and he up out of there. He can get deep on you with all that speed he has too. That's a touchdown if he puts it out ahead of him. And we have a mismatch here. That was a linebacker on him. And it didn't end too well for the defense. And Florida need to stop playing covering him with the linebacker. Bowers has game-changing speed from the tight end position. Okay, Minshew has to get rolling this year. Do you think he can get to 10 wins? If he can't, he won't be a starter in the NFL again. We already know about the defense, but the Raiders have game changers just about everywhere on that offense. Running back Zemir White might just step out and be a game changer in the running game too. He's already a chain mover. A good running game and the deep ball go together like peanut butter and jelly. Again, he doesn't have the greatest arm, but Minshew throws a good deep ball. Between that and Raiders receivers running after the catch, they should have quite a few explosive plays. They definitely have the game changers to get it done. Thank you for watching. See you next time.